Oh, we've been watching this storm. This was last night. Uh, we were tracking this thing. And again, you're looking at 1030 until, you know, right around 1130. Look at the track of this storm and look at the colors here. We have some purples and some blacks. That's an indicative of not only very heavy rain, but uh, some large hail with that storm. And it continued to move towards the northeast. Really, again, uh, packing a punch. Then it starts to make its way towards Chaparral, and then it starts to fall apart and rapidly weaken. So again, this was a supercell. Supercell storms are what tornadoes form from. We always get concerned when we see a little rotation with a storm like we did experience last night. Look at the hail track here. We're talking about from the border all the way up to Anthony, New Mexico, through La Tuna, through Vinton, La Union, 21 and a half miles long. And this was the swath here. There's the width. This is all those areas that were impacted by the hail and even some of the large hail that we've been showing you. This was quarter size hail. Uh, the National Weather Service issued a severe thunderstorm warning. You do that anytime we have quarter size hail or larger. That's one inch diameter hail or you have winds 58 miles an hour or more. And we certainly had the hail and that certainly did a lot of damage out there. We'll be certainly reporting on some of the damage as we continue to make our way through the newscast tonight. There's a look at Doppler radar right now, our latest future track computer model. This is showing some of the uh, showers and storms. They're gonna continue to make their way off towards the east and the northeast by six o'clock tonight. You can see the activity pushing through Jeff Davis and then starting to intensify with a little bit more moisture, more fuel to work with farther off to the east of us. Not anticipating any showers and storms for El Paso, Las Cruces area and points out to the west. We're gonna remain dry tonight. There has rapidly dried out across the area. And once we get through tonight for you, folks in our eastern counties, you're going to be looking dry and rather hot, rather windy all the way through the upcoming weekend. There's the wind gusts that we're dealing with right now, nearly 40 up at the area lakes here in El Paso with 23 Deming at 33 miles an hour. So certainly some areas still in that windy category. Temperatures were 90 here in town, 90 for you folks in Las Cruces, 86 in Alamogordo. We have 89 out there in Deming and 85. For you folks in Sierra Blanca. All right, so overnight tonight, temperature is going to be dropping down to 59. No rain in the forecast tonight. 89 tomorrow. We'll have lots of sunshine. Las Cruces for you. Overnight lows down to 52. Your high temperature for tomorrow will climb into the upper 80s. Watch over the next several days now. We are going to be dealing with some windy conditions that will be coming our way. 87, 85 on Saturday, breezy Saturday, gust to 25, and then the winds start to pick up more Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We'll keep our temperatures right around 90. We'll talk more about the winds in detail. It'll be coming up in the next half hour. So. All right, Doppler.